Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This video is going to share with you some of the new features in the new Wallworm tool called Normal Tools. Now most Max users are familiar with face smoothing, a feature called Smoothing Groups. Not everyone's very familiar with another way of smoothing and controlling the, the smoothing and hard edges between faces and that's using normals. Now using the normal features in Max is sometimes more complicated than using smoothing groups and it can sometimes be tedious uh, to do all the tasks you'd like and that's why the normal tools have been made. So to start with we're going to start with the little scene here um, to demonstrate some of the functions that you would normally try to do in Max with smoothing groups and fail and in this case we have a model here that has several elements that are broken up into different parts because these parts have to be uh, separate for going into a game engine and they have to be separate pieces. However, one of the problems is different elements cannot smooth. Normally you would choose different faces, different polygons, and give them a similar smoothing group and they would smooth. However, you see this edge here is still hard. And that is because the smoothing groups don't work from polygon to polygon across elements. If you want to make these smooth, you have to use normals. There's a modifier inside of Max called Edit Normals for this purpose. And here it will visualize the normals between all the faces and you'll see that those that are smooth seem to only have one normal coming out of the vertex and those that are not smooth, those that are hard, seem to have two or more normals coming from them. Which brings us to feature number one that we're going to demonstrate here and that is selecting automatically those normals that are part of the borders between the elements I mean we can do that inside of the normal tools UI by pressing this button that says select border normals if I do that it will select all of those normals that are along one of the borders between broken elements and now if I want to smooth all of these I can make sure I'm using threshold here and just hit selected and all of those that are that were selected and are within the threshold of each other are now smoothed and now if we render this you'll see that they are smooth now I did accidentally select some of these that I didn't want smooth and that's fine I can just select those that I want which these green ones down here and just reset those and now when we render this you'll see that the smoothing, it looks like it's one smooth object when in fact it's several elements. So that's one feature we have this in this select border normals function. So let's move on to another scenario and we'll use some foliage here and I'm going to convert these to edible polys real fast. And what we want to do is to start with put a edit normal modifier on here so you can visualize one of the things here. Um, if you're using a, a cross or a billboard like this, you may see that the normals are only on one side and they're pointing only one way. And depending on the engine you're going to and depending on the lighting environment you're trying to work with, um, this may not be optimal for your scenarios. And in a lot of cases, you'll want to point all of these normals in the same direction. So there's a function here that um, will quickly help you in that case. We're going to go straight up. We hit up apply to normal and they will all go up. If I want them to go down I can just point them down and I can work on multiple objects in the scene. I can select both of these and if again if I want it to be up I apply the normal and they're both their normals are all pointing up. So there may be another scenario and here it comes to one of the other features Let's assume that the lighting is such that we need all of the normals on these objects to point up here at a certain place. You can go and edit these normals manually inside of Max by selecting them, rotating them, and doing that kind of thing. That can get tedious. So one of the features in here, you can select both of these and do it, is to get a helper. And this helper can be used in two ways. I can either use this tape, the direction of the tape, to be the vector of my normals. 
or I can use the target of the tape as the target of my normals. And I'm going to show you the difference. First, I'm going to move the target to a certain location. I want to move it up here. If I go down here and select these guys, I'm going to select just this one so we can visualize. And if I hit Apply Normal, you'll see they're all matching the exact same vector, the same orientation. Another option I have is to point normals to target, and if I do that and hit Apply, each vertex normal will be pointing directly at the target. So if I move the target to a closer point, you'll see this a little bit more clearly. I'm going to move it down to here. So now the target is down here. Apply normal. And you can see that those that are far up are pointing down at a steep angle. And those that are down here are all pointing different angles. Um, again, it just helps you align them in certain ways, you know, for interesting effects with your lighting. Another thing that we can do, let's move this back up here, is we can work on just a selection. So if we just wanted these top ones, just these top normals to point up here, I can tell this to work on the selected normals and then apply, and only those top selected ones will move and the bottom ones will stay where they were. Now there are tools in here for moving and getting from surfaces. So we might want to move the helper to a picked point, in which case we want to choose a surface here. And we're going to choose this picked point, and we move that helper to that, that point. Now when we did that, the target is still where it's at. If we want to get the normal from a picked surface, there's another button here we have called Get Normal from Surface. If we click that and pick a point, the tape will move to that point with a direction equivalent to the face normal. So if we wanted to use um, this face down here, we click that. And if I hit apply, all of those selected normals are matching that direction there. And again, it was only using the selected normals because I have this option here that says use only the selected normals. If I wanted to use all the normals, hit apply and now all of them around here are matching. My name is Sean Olson. Hopefully this has been informative and in giving you an introductory presentation of using the normal tools. There are a few more features in here that we're not going over in this video. You can learn more about them on the Wallworm website and read the documentation there. Thank you and have a good day.